many of the bunkers are big men in Nigeria. Possibly big women too. But who are these people that cannot be identified? Why is it so difficult to identify them? Name them and shame them. Because if unless you do that, the thefts, the destructions of the pipelines will continue. So for me, that is actually the, the trust of what I seek to achieve with today's motion. Apart from, as I said before, discouraging the destruction or bombardment or setting ablaze of vessels causing enormous uh, environmental degradation in Niger Delta. All that has to stop. We all hear of crude oil thefts, crude oil thefts. We've seen how pipelines are created siphoning oil. Look, I know that NMPC have the control rooms. They can monitor where there are reduced flows of oil. But why is it difficult for them to identify who is doing it? The thieves are amongst Nigerians, or they, are, they have collaborators from elsewhere. But we can trace them. We can identify who they are. And I can assure you that, I mean, I, I don't really see who is going to interfere with our work. If somebody does interfere with our work to impede it or obstruct it, I will also tell you guys. Thank you. I do not support the destruction of vessels carrying stolen crude, simply because it damages, the destruction of those vessels damages and pollutes the environment even more. And by the time you destroy, bomb and destroy, you're also destroying evidence. You're also destroying the product. If the products are stolen and you know where they are, then get them back into the system. So I'm hoping that with today's motion, we will be able to identify. For me, the most important thing here is to identify and expose the culprits.